Hello Pisces. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for the end of October 2020. This is a love reading, but it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. I already pulled a few oracle cards for you before starting the reading. And we're just going to do the traditional Celtic cross and see what comes out. I will definitely pull some romance angels and maybe something else if I feel like I need it. Show me, angels, the messages for my Pisces friends in love, please. What do they need to know? For the end of October 2020, show me Pisces. Yep, something's not over. Show me Pisces. Yeah, definitely not over. Uh, all right, I don't know which one. I'm not taking all of those angels. Cards are all over the place. Let's regroup here. Show me Pisces, please. Love. Take that one. Pisces. Wow, something's really not over here. Free will. They just said free will. Somebody has an opportunity to... I'm using the Arcanum Tarot. If anyone is interested in that, I'm going to move that over there. And also, i like everybody to know that this may resonate in another area of your life. So, you know, take it how it resonates for you. Um, but feel free to make your own interpretations. And also remember that a love reading can be... This came out sideways, so whatever it is, it goes upright. Okay. Um, a love reading can be a best friend, it could be a family member, it could be your child. It does not have to be a romantic relationship. All right, this one too. I'm going to take one more because I didn't get an answer on that Seven of Wands. Show me one more for this. Clarify the Seven of Wands, please. Angels clarify the seven of wands. Thank you. Hmm. Is that you? Bottom of the deck. Emperor. Justice. I love this. Three major arcanas. All in the upright position. Justice. You're thinking about... It's like you want to make a decision to go somewhere, go see someone, but maybe you're being stubborn or I'm getting ghosting. Someone's been abandoned, ghosted, cut off, blocked. And someone is not taking action to repair a relationship that has the potential for a lot of happiness. Okay, let me, um, I have to straighten, guys. Let's see. Taking action. Two kings. Two kings to me with an emperor. I feel like there's power struggle here. I, You know, I know that I said this to you before. I mean, this energy is still around you. Somebody's just not making a move. I like this King of Wands and the Roller attitude of the other person because someone may be finally ready to take action. Get something completed. Get something done. Because there's a lot of time and effort invested into a relationship here. Somebody's being very quiet. Very quiet, very stubborn. Let me just 
make sure camera is good for you. Put that back over there. And looks like you can see everything. Okay. So five of pentacles in the center of your reading. Sign of Taurus is being cold or leaving someone out in the cold. It's also an abandonment card. Because the world is here in reverse at the base of the reading, I feel like there was no closure here on something that ended. You may have ended a relationship with someone because they refused to change or because they were stubborn or because they wouldn't compromise. Because I'm getting a very like hard-headed person here. I mean, every card that's here is the Hermit is ghosted, the Ace of Swords is blocked, the Six of Swords is hesitation to move on. Someone can't move on from what happened. This Four of Pentacles in reverse is in the challenge position. So the challenge is to open up and communicate, like speak up or say something. But you're being very quiet. I feel like it's you. Because I feel like you're over here, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're waiting for this other person to take action, I guess, to apologize. I don't see an apology here. I don't know what you're waiting for them to do. But I feel like you're being stubborn and you're not making a move. Because Seven of Wands, as the final outcome, is standing your ground. Like, this is two people that are arguing or got into some type of disagreement about something it could have been over money somebody might even have quit a job here because king of wands and the emperor are usually my boss cards but see somebody's thinking about doing the right thing here i feel like you're setting boundaries i feel like this king of cups is you and i feel like you are blocking someone Somebody else was wrong, and you're waiting for justice. I mean, I don't really even know what else to say. You're waiting for this person to realize that they need to return. They need to come see you. They need to do the right thing. They need to fix this. I feel like you're hoping that they will. You're hoping for this sun card. You're hoping for happiness and joy, but it's being blocked. There is no movement here. The good news is this King of Wands. See, this is the roller attitude of the other person. And whether they're a fire sign or not, could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. But this person takes action, gets things done. Like someone is realizing that they were wrong. I mean, what were these? Let's see meeting two or more people discussions and planning okay the seven of pentacles could be a plan lost ghosted blocked cut off i mean that is all over this reading something ended very suddenly there's something it, it, there's something that needs to be said or something that needs to be done here pop up Spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. They're coming. This person's going to come and take action. They're going to come see you with that chariot. It's somebody here that... What's the last card? Single current status available. So somebody's single here. That could be you. Got a lot of masculine energy here. Somebody has just not given in. If you're the cross watcher, they're waiting for you to make the first move. Someone's also at a distance or far away. Someone went from cold to hot or, yeah, cold to hot. They could be in a completely different part of the world. You have a lot of time and effort invested into this relationship. You also got these three sevens. It's temptation. Somebody is tempted to come see you or 
tempted to do the right thing, tempted to bring this relationship back, but they're hesitating. They're confused. Like, I, I feel like who, however this resonates with you, I don't know what this person is fearing. If they're fearing rejection, they're fearing drama. That's for sure. They're fearing that there's going to be an argument if they make the first move. But I don't think that there is. Like if you're wondering if you should reach out to a person and fix something, I feel like something here is very fixable. Let me pull, I'm going to pull some more cards for you. Angels, show me additional messages for Pisces, please. Show me Pisces for end of, I feel like this was in your last reading. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Did someone, if you were in a relationship with someone and they were hesitant to move something to the next level, so you ended it with them, getting engaged, moving in, getting married, having children, somebody wanted to be single, they wanted their freedom, they wanted to date other people, and you felt forced to let this person go because they wouldn't change, they were being stubborn. I feel like you're getting justice, if any of this is making any sense. Because, show me Pisces, please, that engagement Show me Pisces. Maybe someone wanted to get engaged. See, if you have, if you're dealing with a fire sign, even the king of wands that's in the upright position, they just like their freedom. The sun card is also freedom. So I feel like someone just wanted to do what they wanted to do. They wanted it their way. See, it's sadness missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Somebody cannot move on from this. That's what the hermit is. They're like, how do I fix this? What do I do? Are we ever going to talk again? I'm unsure of the future. Could have been a broken engagement here as well. Show me one more for Pisces. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Somebody's taking action here. Pop-up, surprise. You're not even going to see this coming. You don't expect it. Ghosted, blocked, cut off, no communication, not speaking. The distance could be either the person could be far away or there may just be distance in the relationship. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. There is abandonment here. Something just stopped. And somebody's not happy about that. Somebody's thinking, like, how are we going to overcome these obstacles? Yes, this is fixable. Even with that seven of wands as the final outcome, I feel like this is fixable. Let's pull some romance angels and see what they say. I feel like somebody's just standing their ground here. Like saying, you're not going to bring that drama around here. I'm not going to have it. Show me places, please. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That is also, the Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you need to be open. You need to keep an open mind. You need to... Not be so fixated on a certain outcome, whether that's you or the other person. Show me one more for Pisces, please. Things don't always have to be, you know, your way. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Something needs to be fixed here. Show me one more. The problem is... Somebody's very closed off. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Bottom. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You are going to see this person again. And I feel like you are going to get what you want. I just don't know when. 
It could be November 4th, November 9th. Look at that, 9-11. There was an explosion. 9-11 is my explosion combination, obviously, because of the Twin Towers. They miss you. They're thinking about you. They cannot move on. They want to get together. You have an, a surprise, unexpected visitor who's coming to see you to fix this. I don't know if this will happen by the end of October. Don't don't just cut this person off. I'm feeling like you should need to give something a chance. Listen to what they have to say because I feel like they're coming in offering a cup of love and I feel like you're blocking it. I feel like somebody's saying, no way, you ain't coming back here. You're not bringing that drama here. But I feel like someone has grown and I feel like they want to be a good person. Someone may have been abandoned as a child and they don't like the feeling of being abandoned. You might even abandon this person. So I, the reading is, I get you, you're the one that's waiting. You're waiting for justice. You've, you have so much time invested into this relationship. I'm also hearing time is running out. All right, Pisces, I am going to leave that there. It looks like you will hear from this person. Maybe, you know, November 4th, Mercury retrograde is over. Maybe that's what needs to happen here. Maybe this person is confused right now. All right, I'm going to leave that there, Pisces. I do hope I was able to help someone with this reading today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.